Across the Cedar Valley, a collection of inconspicuous mailbox-sized cabinets filled with books have sprouted over the years in neighborhoods and parks. And just last month, yet another appeared at Sullivan Memorial Park in Waterloo. While these little libraries are small in size, they are part of a much larger initiative with colossal goals. Well, Books Not Bombs is uh, basically just a group of volunteers that got together and were worried about at-risk youth in the Cedar Valley and their access to literature and books. We were wondering what can we do to get books in the hands of youths and so we got in touch with an organization called Campaign for Grade Level Reading to be involved with their literacy efforts in Waterloo Cedar Falls. The Campaign for Grade Level Reading kicked off around 2010 as a collaboration among a broad range of public, private, and nonprofit organizations. Research showed that over 80% of children from low-income families are not proficient readers by the end of third grade. The campaign's goal is to reverse this trend by 2020. If we look at any of the international benchmarks, um, we know how we are simply being out-educated today. Lots of different measures. Was a 25% dropout rate, whether it's going from first in the world to ninth in college graduates, whether it's our 15-year-olds being about a year behind their counterparts in other places. And so if we can level the playing field, if we can have our babies enter kindergarten ready to learn and ready to read and be at grade level by third grade, then we can really truly start to talk about every child going on to college or some form of higher education. We can really start to raise their aspirations. In 2014, um, a group of individuals from all different organizations in the Cedar Valley came together and decided to adopt this national initiative that was called the Campaign for Grade Level Reading. And when we adopted the initiative, we call it Cedar Valley Readers. So we're working towards the same goals as the national initiative. There's a direct link between third grade reading proficiency and a child's ability to graduate from high school. So they kind of see third grade as a marker. Where kids are at in third grade can really tell us a lot about kind of the direction they're headed. Cedar Valley Readers has kind of three main interest areas and those were really to curb summer learning loss, to make sure kiddos are ready to go to school when they're pre-K and they're ready to learn to read, and of course to encourage everyday attendance to school bell to bell. It's really important. We have a group of people that come in once a month just for those initiatives. Under each of those three categories, there's an attendance group, a readiness group, and summer learning loss group. And then we have a steering committee of about eight or nine different individuals from different organizations that come together once a month and we talk about what we're doing, what we can do, and what's working, what isn't working, how to move forward. So it's a, it's a coalition. So it's a group of people from organizations that came together and said, we want to do this. So that included people from Operation Threshold, the McElroy Trust, United Way, several other organizations here in the Cedar Valley. We're just coming together to kind of work together to try and make an impact in the community. Research has conclusively proven that reading aloud with a child for just 15 minutes a day dramatically improves their literacy. But according to the U.S. Department of Education, up to 61% of low-income families do not have any books for their kids at home. And without access to books, these children will quickly lag behind in school. That's where the Little Free Libraries come in. Little Free Library program started a few years back. It's all over the United States. It, the idea is to have free books for anybody who wants them. We realize the public transportation system isn't necessarily the best in the Cedar Valley, and so some people can't make it to the library. The library is a great resource for those who can make it. Part of, of course, what we're trying to do is create a literacy-rich environment here for folks that might not have access um, to books or might not be able to get over to the library. That way they can, you know, check out a book and then read with their kids. The little free libraries that are going in the area, we have five of them, and they were all purchased by Cedar Valley Readers as part of a donor grant that we received. They gave us a little free library, and we're put it up at the Sullivan Memorial Park in Waterloo on the east side, and we'll keep it stocked with all sorts of books that are donated to the library and to our cause. I worked out with my supervisors at the Cedar Falls Public Library where I work to get first crack at any donations that come in, anything that's being withdrawn. They love the idea of getting books in the hands of kids that can't necessarily make it to the public library. They just had a nice donation from Barnes & Noble of kind of all the classics, so those will be great for the adults in the area that are interested. So after I go through the donations, we take them to a friend's house. We will sort them into elementary and then junior high, high school, and from there sort them into fiction and nonfiction. Find the good ones and put them in the Little Free Library and kind of see what kids want and then try to keep that stocked with what they are taking. So the Little Free Library in 
Sullivan Park is right by Cunningham Elementary. So hopefully they'll visit the little libraries and use the books and we can go from there. Some people come and pick out a book that they like. Some people will in turn put a book in there and that's how it just keeps going. And they're all over the United States. You can go to littlefreelibrary.org. If you want to put one in, they have instructions on how to build one. They have blueprints. You can then register your little free library and then other people from your neighborhood can just go to that website and then they can look at a map and find your little free library. So right now we have three out, but we have two more that we need stewards for. So if you have any questions or want to make a donation or be a steward for a little free library, you can contact us at cedarvalleyreaders.org or email us at cedarvalleyreaders at gmail.com. And um, they can drop books off at Operation Threshold. You know, you can just go in the front door and drop some books off there. We don't need brand new books. Gently used books would be great. So. And we are building little free libraries with an elementary school in Waterloo, Lincoln Elementary in Waterloo, with Jeremy Swanson's fifth grade class. They seem to be very eager. It's great to see them light up. Another project that Books Not Bombs is involved in is going around trying to find unregistered little free libraries in the Cedar Valley and talking to the people that run them and see if it's okay for us to register them on littlefreelibrary.org so more people will know about them.